My name is Dr. Braun from Cree Health Professional Scholarship Society. I reviewed society only has a fixed number of spots to offer, and I will be intrigued to hear your credentials. Hello, my name is Eric Lippman. I'm a Caucasian male. My parents are both physicians, and I come from an affluent neighborhood in Upper Manhattan. Throughout my freshman year, I attained a 3.8 GPA while excelling in all my scientific prerequisites as a human biology major. I volunteered at three local organizations in the East Lansing community and intend on doing research over the summer. While I do not need a scholarship fiscally, I intend on uh, bolstering my ability to conduct research. Eric is a white male, therefore he must be a hardworking individual and have good potential to become a doctor. Henceforth, he is well deserving of the scholarship. He is from a prominent area in New York with a respective school system and awarding him with the scholarship would make his parents proud and consequently continue to accrue a large sum of wealth for his family. I am honestly very intrigued by your holistic commitment as a scholar performing exceedingly well at Michigan State University. I have decided to award you with the scholarship to further your research. Thank you. Hello, my name is Sean Michael Green, and I am an African-American male. My mother is a sous chef at a small local restaurant, and my father is a construction worker. I grew up in a humble, lower middle class community just outside Montreal. I managed to maintain a 3.85 GPA at Indiana University while shining my scientific prerequisites as a biochemistry major. I currently volunteer at three organizations in the Bloomington community and have a research position lined up with Beaumont over the summer. I need this scholarship or else I won't be able to continue my university studies. Sean is an African American, therefore he must be a lazy individual unsuited to become a physician. Moreover, Sean is from Canada and henceforth has a more inadequate educational system than that of the United States. Through not accrediting Sean with his scholarship, he could retain his current remedial fam familia, social status, and prestige through working with his mother as a chef. While your academic achievements are notable and it is an inherent possibility that you would become a good physician, I'm afraid I cannot award you with a scholarship to further your studies. I'm sorry. Structure is the recurrent pattern and arrangements which influence or limit the choices and opportunities available. Sean was limited by structural constraints. The agency of a certain individual, Dr. Braun, who is effectively operating within the structure of the university's uh, bureaucracy, barred Sean from receiving a scholarship while significantly augmented Eric's chances. The structure could be changed to become more equitable through uh, being more merit-based and less racially biased. However, this would take a long time to alter due to the intrinsic complexity of institutions. Through, o through Kayla upholding the stereotype that white people are hardworking and therefore capable of becoming better physicians, she is, she is perpetuating social inequality. In active application of the stereotype through hiring Eric over Sean, she is mechanistically upholding social inequality through institutionalized discrimination. Kayla then denounces the institutional discrimination through a facade of legitimacy. Her notes read, the African-American applicants were inherently not as qualified as their white interviewee counterparts. Kayla is also part of the dominant ethnic group that has more access to propitious resources. Through rationalizing Eric's hire as an attempt to prolong his family's attainment of wealth, there is an unfair allocation of power and a fixing of wealth at the top transpiring. Henceforth, conflict theory is thus upheld as a mechanism of social inequality. An ethnocentric view was employed through denouncing Sean's education because Dr. Braun unfairly viewed the, the American educational system as being far su superior to that of Canada. Through denying Sean the scholarship and hence a legitimate ed education, it would inhibit his ability to properly assimilate into American culture. Moreover, it promotes spatial segregation because Sean would no longer have the funds to continue his university studies and consequently be displaced to a less op opportunity-rich area um, in which many people from the dominant ethnic group do not reside. 